and we do not want to live life as slaves. No Muslim should be living life as a slave. When we have the Ummah right here, subhanAllah, where we have uh, our brothers and sisters, Brother Ali alluded to it earlier on this evening. Brother Muazza mentioned it right now. SubhanAllah, how are we protecting their honor when we are spending 5,000 pound on a pair of rims or we are spending 2,000 pound on a new jacket or we are spending 1,000 pound on taking all our friends and family out for a snap-up meal. SubhanAllah, 1,000 pound can provide home, sanctuary, dignity, protection to our Ummah. They, they, their homes were destroyed. They were flooded away. We knew, we were here, right here on the stage when we came here for the emergency appeal last year because of the floods. They saw the water rise. They watched it with their own eyes as the rain came down. And then they watched everything they worked for all their life wash away. Wa alaikum salam. Brother, I'm calling from Good Night. I'd like to remain anonymous. Okay. Sure, sister, yes. What would you like to uh, say? Brother, I'd like to um, donate zakat money, um, one house. Wow, subhanAllah. Is that for Pakistan or Syria? Um, that's for Syria, brother. Sister? You're... Brother, a few years ago, I myself was in a problem because um, what happened was my house got flooded. Subhan and Allah. even though I'm here living in the UK, brother, I had an account full of money. But that didn't help. The calamity I was facing only Allah knows. <laughs> eventually, Alhamdulillah, I had insurance on the house, and Alhamdulillah, we, eventually we were rehoused, and you know everything was uh, back to normal. But I think of these people, the Ummah. These are brothers and sisters. They were our family. <laughs> the calamity that they are facing, they are asking Allah for help. And what is our worth if we cannot help our brothers and sisters? May Allah bless you, sister. Wallahi, let me tell you, this ayah, wallahi, sister, when I hear people like you, Allah, I'm getting shivers, yeah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَبْلَ ذَلِكَ مُخْسِنِينَ كَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِّنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَهْجَوْنَ وَبِالْأَسْهَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ حَقُّ اللِّسَائِلِ وَالْمَحْرُومِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about people like you, sister. You know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, indeed, prior to this, Allah is talking about when they're entering Jannah. Prior to this, people like you, sister, inshallah, when you're entering Jannah, Allah will talk about people like you. Indeed, prior to this, they were good in their deeds. They used to sleep little in the night. Bro, what time is it, bro? Bro, what time is it? 3 a.m. She's not sleeping. Before, they used to sleep little in the night. And in the hours before dawn, but well, before dawn, bro, they used to pray for forgiveness. And check this out, bro. And in their wealth, there was a right for the one who asked and, what, and for the one who's deprived. In their wealth, you know what this means, bro? It means the sister looks at her account and she doesn't say, look how much money I've got. She says, the haq of the miskin and the fuqara is in my bank balance. And she came today crying, subhanAllah, in this night, I know the sister, probably she, she just, she was praying, yeah? Wallahi, this ayah is talking about people like you. My dear sister, you've shed the tears. Yeah? Wallahi, may Allah bless you. The fact that you had a glimpse of the pain, maybe what they were going through, and it touched your heart, that subhanAllah, you think it's a coincidence, bro? Bro, do you think it's a coincidence that she's watching this? Bro, please, we're Muslims. She watched this, you know why? When Allah wants good for someone, bro, he opens opportunities. The fact that she tuned in random, I don't believe in randomness, bro. This is Qadr of Allah. Allah wants good for you. Right. And I make dua that this deed here, that on the day of judgment, all of us in the studio witness and say, oh Allah, she gave. She gave to her brothers and sisters. And may Allah make it a means of Jannah for you and your entire family. Amen. Wallahi, may there not be a single day that goes, sister, that you face, that you say, how am I going to get out of this calamity? Never, never there be a day that you are in a calamity that you can't get out of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always take you out of all calamities. And wallahi, my mom makes this dua for me. Every time I leave the house, it says, may there never be a day that you face a calamity that you say, what am I going to do? And I make this dua for you, my dear sister. 